Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Urban Outfitters haul. Urban Outfitters isn't really a place that I shop all the time, except for like the past like three-ish months, I've been going crazy. One, they've been having like 20% off promo codes every now and then, or certain stuff that I throw in my basket that I don't purchase right away goes on sale. So I've been taking full advantage of that, and then I've also been shopping through Ebates, so that helps as well. So I do get money back every time I shop through Urban Outfitters. So if you like to see some of the cute clothes and stuff I picked out and purchased, please keep watching. So this is going to be a pretty big haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and record all of it and then if I feel like it's getting like overwhelming, then I'm gonna break it up into a part one, part two. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a try on haul. I don't think so just because most of these things are t-shirts and stuff like that. So I mean, it's not really gonna be that exciting to do a try on haul, I guess is what I'm saying. So the first thing that I picked up is this t-shirt and I thought this was gonna be more of like a thicker kind of like what I'm wearing t-shirt material and it's actually pretty thin so keep that in mind when I show you also online it's more of like a white shade and in person it's kind of like a cream yellow this is what it looks like so it's pretty long I did buy it in a size large and it was $34 but I'm pretty sure I got it for $19.99 and then I really liked kind of like this Polaroid type picture thing going on and it's just like pictures of the beach people in boats ocean stuff like that so I really like this and I thought it'd be really cute to either wear like long with biker shorts or tied up like in the front with jean shorts or leggings or jeans anything really so and this isn't something that I would typically buy but I liked it so this one I got in a size large as well, and this is $34. This one's kind of like a nudie, fate pink color, and then it has flowers on it. But the one I just showed you, both of them are larges, but the one I just showed you is a lot bigger than this one for sure. Like this to me is like a small, and it's a large. And it's the same kind of like thin material, which, um, how I was describing this first one to you guys, how I thought it was going to be like a thick material, but I actually don't mind this kind of like thin cotton-ish material for the summertime because I think it's going to be like really breathable. And I'll probably just wear this same shirt how I described that one with jean shorts tied up, biker shorts, you know, so on. Then these next things I'm going to show you, I'm so excited about. They're so freaking cute. So I've been really into Fila and Champion lately and Urban Outfitters has all the really cute stuff from both of those brands. Sorry, my hair is, it's been a long time since I wore my hair curly and then I just forget kind of how to like style it and I just, all this, yeah, anyways. So I got this shirt right here, this was $49. I got a size medium and it's a cropped white tee. I thought it was gonna run small so I got a medium, but if I could go back I would have got a true size small. And I like that this is, thick the only downside is since it is thick I don't know if it's something that I'm gonna want to wear in the summertime necessarily but in the way it's cropped it's cropped kind of like in an awkward length so I can't tie it up so I'm forced to wear it the way it is so it's where it hits me on my body is like a little weird but it still works out if that makes sense but I thought if I went up a size I'd be able to tie it up and I can't so but this right here is so cute because it says champion and like this pink stitch that has little daisies embroidered in it as well. So I got that shirt to go with these shorts. These are also from champion and they're that pink color and then they have daisies all over them. And these are thick sweat shorts. Let me tell you, these are the back. So these I got in a size medium and they were $65. Again, most of the stuff I did not pay full price for. I had a promo code, so just keep that in mind. I actually bought these in a gray, just like a, just a gray shade as well with nothing on them, just plain gray. And I know I ordered a medium. I even checked my receipt, but they sent me a large and I didn't even notice it was a large until I wore it throughout the day. And I was like, dang, these are too big. Like they stretch out a lot throughout the day. So keep that in mind as well. So the mediums fit just fine. But if you want like a tighter fitting short, since they do stretch out during the day, I would get a smaller size possibly. Like I think I would be okay getting a small and then just the way they 
kind of work themselves out throughout the day it would be just fine like they're not too tight is what i'm saying they are a little bit shorter but that's because i like to wear these champion shorts high-waisted but if you don't wear your shorts high-waisted then they are long enough but how freaking cute are these oh and i tried these shorts on with that shirt so cute then i went ahead and got the matching daisy sweatshirt and this is really thick as well and i got a size medium and this was 75 dollars and i definitely suggest like sizing up on this there is like no stretch to this and a medium to me even though it looks yeah i don't know like to me it looks a little big but when i put it on it fits like a small so i would definitely suggest sizing up then i got this even though i'm gonna have to wait till next year to wear it it went on sale i got a size small this was 69 dollars and yeah it's just like a sherpa cropped thing it has like a collar it's really soft it zips all the way down I thought this would be super cute for the winter time with jeans or leggings or whatever. Super soft, super cozy, that teddy bear material. Oh, and then also on the bottom, they have these little things so you can make it tighter. You can cinch it in to make it more cropped. Moving on to t-shirts, all their t-shirts went on sale for like 15 to $20, so I stocked up because I've been wearing t-shirts like non-stop lately, and now that it's the summertime, it's just gonna get hotter. So the only thing I plan on wearing this summer is either like summer dresses or these t-shirts with shorts. Like that's my whole plan for the whole entire summer because like it is just too hot and I'm not really like a tank top person. So of course, one of the t-shirts I had to get was a Britney Spears t-shirt. I got a size medium and this was $39. So it says, but like I said, I got it on sale. This is from the brand Junk Food. This is what it looks like. So I know it says a medium and I have been buying like larges in t-shirts just because I like them. I used to only buy smalls in shirts because I used to like my stuff to fit really tight. But now I feel like I've got to the point where I'd rather have my t-shirts like looser and more comfortable. Like that's where I am in my life right now. So this medium to me could pass for like a large as well. If you guys could see Hazel, she's snooping back there. Um, so yeah, so I think a medium is just fine. And then this is probably one of my favorite t-shirts that I purchased. This is a Daria t-shirt and this was $19.99 and I got a size medium. And this is also from the brand Junk Food. I love their t-shirts. And this I thought was super cute. It came in like a lime green shade too, but I just got this charcoal. This is from the brand Future State. I got a medium and it was $44. And this is what it looks like. So it is cropped. It has some buttons right here and it says no limits racing. And then I really like the sleeves. They have flames on them. You can see here. I thought this was super cute. Then I have another t-shirt. This says born to raise hell. I got a size medium. It's the Urban Outfitters brand. This was $34. But again, I got it on sale. So... I guess I'm just gonna stop saying that, I don't know. But it's like a dark charcoal shade and then that's what it says right there. I should have got a large, but I'm thinking that they didn't have a large in stock and that's why I got a medium. But I think this would be super cute, even with like black leather pants or black leather shorts. This would be so cute. I got these next few champion things on sale. And I wanna say I got a really good deal. I think I got these shorts, I got a medium and I'm pretty sure I got these for like 20 or $30, I wanna say $19.99. So they're just striped sweatshorts. So they're just exactly like the daisy ones, but just this pattern. And then I got the matching hoodie and it's cropped. And this is a size small and it says it's the candy stripe. It says it retails for $79.99, but I know I did not pay that much, so. Then I threw this in here because it's still on the site and I wanted to show you guys. I wore this the entire winter time, so I've had this for a while, but I wanted to show you. This is from the brand Junk Food. I actually have the matching Budweiser t-shirt as well. I got a size medium and it's just the Budweiser sweatshirt. And I wanna say this was around $40, maybe 30, but I wore this the entire winter and I love it. Although I do feel like it fits a little tight for a size medium. So I wish I would've got a size large. Then I got this. I actually ordered this back in January and I didn't pay attention. And I guess it was on back order for till like April. So I just got this and it's too hot to wear it. But I thought this was super, super cute. So it's a true white fleece cropped 
hoodie type thing. Well, it's not a hoodie. It has a collar, but it's a true white. It looks just like snow. It's so soft. I think this would be so cute with leggings and it does have a zipper. This was $49 and I got a size small. But how cute is this? This next t-shirt I think is so cute. I got a size medium. It says it retails for $39.99 and it's the Simple Life tee. It's kind of cropped, but not like super cropped. And then it just has Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie on it. And this is like a thicker material. And this is from the brand Body Rags. Then I got these on sale. These are just a pair of Tommy Hilfiger black leggings. I got a size medium. It says they were 34, but I think I paid 20 or maybe even 15. But so they do have this right here. Uh, what's this called? The band, the waistband, I guess. And then this is what they look like. And then they have Hilfiger right here. And they're kind of like a straight leg, but they do get a little bit, little bit smaller at the ankle. Next, I got this super cute shirt. I already wore this. I got this back in January as well. This is from Junk Food Tee, size medium. Every time the Junk Food t-shirts go on sale and are been out for I buy them because I just love them. This is just a cropped Raiders t-shirt. Then I got this. This was also on back order or I would have already worn it. This is from the brand Out From Under. This is a size small and it was $44 and it's kind of like a waffle knit material but I thought it was super cute. It's oversized a little bit but tighter on the long sleeves and it buttons and I saw it on the website and they were wearing it tied up right here in the middle with a pair of jeans and it made me want to buy it and this does come in like different colors but i really like this because i don't have anything like it then i picked up this bodysuit which i think is so beautiful i got a size medium it was 44 dollars, and it's kind of like a crushed teal velvet but i like this is like the boob part i guess so you're going to be showing a little bit of cleavage but i think this is going to look so cute so i haven't decided how i'm going to wear it maybe with a pair of jeans or a pair of black leather pants with like a jacket i think this with oversized like mom jeans would be so cute and maybe like a cardigan or like a chunky sweater on top then this okay so fun fact about me when i was in grade school and goosebumps first came out you guys i was beyond obsessed every week that we'd have show and tell i would bring my collection of goosebump books and then like seriously, from like first, second, third, fourth grade on, every time we took a class picture, I was wearing a Goosebumps shirt. And I wish I still had those shirts because I would totally wear them now, but I was like a die hard Goosebumps fan girl, let me tell you. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to buy this. So I got a size medium, it was $34, and it just says the brand is Goosebumps. Oh, you guys, I die so cute i don't know if i'm gonna necessarily wear it around now or save it for like october you know for like the halloween time but i love goosebumps i also really like fear St fear street which i can't find like i can find goosebumps at barnes and noble and like other stores but i can't find fear street books anywhere unless i find them on ebay or amazon but i love those too then i got a couple more of the champion sweatshorts because I feel like it doesn't get that cold in California until like January, but it's still kind of chilly. So I wanted sweat shorts and like sweatshirt hoodies to match because I feel like it's still keep my core warm, but my legs can breathe, I guess, because it doesn't get so cold, but it's chilly. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's why I got a bunch of these. I got a size medium. This was $55 and it's just this navy blue shade. Then I also got the matching hoodie. And I know these are expensive, but you're paying for the brand name. And I don't know why, but I just really like these. I got a size small and this was 75. I wish I would've got a size medium because I got a medium in the striped one and that one fits better than this. But this is what this looks like. So this is cropped as well. And together they just look so cute. Here's another t-shirt. This is Wild Turkey. I got a medium, it says $34. And it's kind of like a creamy yellow shade. And then it just says wild turkey bourbon whiskey on it. And it's super soft. I'm telling you, Urban Outfitters t-shirts are so good. Then I got these to match this hoodie I'm going to show you. And I had to get a different size because I think when I first bought these pair of pants, I wasn't paying attention or I just looked at the hanger size and the hanger size wasn't the same as the pant size. So I messed up and I ended up getting an extra small and they, 
they didn't even fit. They went like halfway to my butt and that was it. So I'm like, okay, this isn't gonna work. But I really wanted the pants to match this hoodie I'm about to show you. So that's why I purchased these. So I got a large this time so I can make them high-waisted. They were $49 and then they have the Tommy Hilfiger band and then they have like the little stripes down the side and they do cuff and this is what they look like and i got them to wear with this hoodie this hoodie is so cute i tried this outfit on together with feel like white feel sneakers mm, so cute um and this is what this looks like so the sleeve says tommy hilfiger it's like embroidered stitched whatever and then it does have a blue hood and red strings and it is cropped but it does like bunch up at the bottom as you can see there so for this Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt, it was $79, you guys. Like, sometimes I just black out. So, um, and I got a size small. So I only have three things left. And to me, this video is long, but I think I'm just going to keep it because this is like multiple trips. This has been like trips to Urban Outfitters since January. So I'm just going to make this like a huge Urban Outfitters haul video. And then I got a pair of these shorts because they went on sale. And when I first saw them at Urban Outfitters, I think in the early fall time or whatever they kept they were sold out of my size the entire time and then these went on sale for 20 bucks and they only had a size large left so i just grabbed them they are a little big but i can't help myself i'm obsessed with cherries so i got a size large it says they retail for 65 but i'm pretty sure i got them for 20 and they're still like the sweat shorts with little cherries on them so cute then I got this. I thought this was super cute. This is to hang necklaces and it just says babe and it's like a metal thing and you can hang your necklaces over here and over here and then like around the letters and stuff. And I want to say I got this for like $10. It was on sale, but I thought this would be super cute to put on my wall. The last thing that I got is a glitter body roller unicorn. So this is from the brand Lavender Stardust Roll on Shimmer Face and Body and Hair. And this reminded me of these little glitter rollers from Bath and Body Works from like sixth grade. So I wanted to get it. This was $10. I thought this would be really pretty just for like the summertime, like on my shoulders and my chest area. Oh, I thought it was like dried out. I was about to get pissed. <laughs> you could see. It doesn't smell bad either, actually. But I thought this would just be so, I don't know if you can see it. It's just like straight glitter. I thought this would be so pretty just like across here for the summertime. Okay guys, that's everything from my massive Urban Outfitters haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other like dedicated brands, like stores that you want me to do hauls from, I will definitely do that. I do shop a lot from Misguided Pretty Little Thing and Forever 21. All those are really affordable. This is probably the most expensive place that I actually shop at. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.